G'day folks, very excited because once again today I have a double mail time. I've got two lots of mail to open up and I'm going to be launching a brand new segment for this channel. Hey Robbie, you've got mail, you better check your mailbox. Okay, Robbie, thanks, mate. What's the address? Post Office Box 3006, Yoranga LPO, Wangaratta 3677. Right, yeah, folks, now before I launch into the opening of this mail, let me talk about this new segment. In a video recently, in a mail time segment, I said I've got an idea. And the idea was that I would have a, a segment similar to the mail time segment, but it will be called Fishing with Mail Time Lures, where I go fishing and I only take a selection of lures that have been sent to my mail time. And I ask you guys, what do you think? Is it a good idea? Leave a comment below. I was inundated with fantastic feedback. Everybody wants me to do that, so I'm going to do it. There will be a regular segment called Fishing with Mail Time Lures. There will be a lot of times where the lures don't catch any fish. I often have fishless trips like everybody else, and I don't always share them. I share the odd one, but not a lot. So there will be fishless trips, and there will be times where I use some lures more than others. I want to try and use the lures that are suitable for the job on the day. But I am going to have a dedicated series of Fishing with Mail Time Lures, now, over the last two years, I've been sent a lot of lures, and I'm pleased to say that I've pretty much still got all of them. I've never, ever given, given away a lure that's been gifted to me. I've never sold one or given it away. I may have lost a couple on snags over the years that I've been sent in, but other than just the odd one or two that have been lost on snags, I've still got most of them in the shed. I'm going to get them all together, and when I go out fishing for my fishing with mail time lures, I'm just going to take a selection of ones each time. Some may get used more than others. Some may not get used. I'll do my very, very best to use as many as I can and I'm likely going to forget who sent me which ones because I've just got like, a lot of lures sitting there but anyway folks mail time fishing with mail time lures brand new segment coming really really soon now I can't give you a dedicated time as to when it's going to be uploaded I can't say every Thursday or every Tuesday or every Monday it'll probably be around about fortnightly once a fortnight it depends on so many conditions and then as we start heading, heading into autumn and winter it'll drop right off because I just can't go out as often but then when the springtime comes and I can get out more so I'll, I'll ramp it back up again so just like my mail time segment which is quite random the more often I get mail the more often I have a mail time segment well this will be the same wherever I can I will be going out fishing with mail time lures only and I've just had the help of Holly to film a cracking intro for my new segment here's the intro for goodness sake Robbie will you hurry up and use those lures people sent you <laughs> we didn't put a lot of script into that folks but it'll do for now so that's going to be the new intro to the new segment <laughs> anyhow folks Stay tuned for that new segment. Now, let's uh, open up some of this mail and see what we've got. I'll open this one first because I reckon I know what it is. Marty Evans has been following me for a long time and he's a cracking fella. And a couple of years ago, he bought a camera on my advice, the Canon G7X Mark II, which is the small brother to the camera that I'm filming with now. This is the G7X Mark III. The only reason I updated was because the Mark III has got the inbuilt microphone that I'm using now. I've got a little microphone here. The Mark II didn't have that. But anyway, Marty went out on my recommendation. He bought the camera. He loved it so much. He couldn't thank me enough for my help. He made me a calendar. And I reckon that this might be the 2020 version of the Marty Evans calendar. Last year, I hung it up in my shed. But this year, I'm going to put it in the kitchen where I can see it more. This is so cool. Marty has absolutely nailed the use of this Canon G7X Mark II. I don't know whether Marty does these in, uh, in production or not. I think he should if he doesn't. Marty, if you're selling these, well, let me know and I'll give you a shout out on social media somewhere. But if you've just made one especially just for me, well then thank you very, very much. Here's some of Marty's work. Now the camera's going to try and find my face. I don't know how we're going to go with the focus thing here. I won't show you everyone because the video will go for ages, but we'll go through and I'll just show you some of Marty's work. Let's look, it goes that way. Wow. Marty is a very talented... Oh, look at that. Look at the star trails. That's just some of the work that Marty does. That's a star trail photo. I don't know whether you know much about star trail photos, but if you look at this, I can tell you now that Marty wasn't facing south. 
If you face due south, you'll get circles in the video from the Southern Celestial Pole. And you'll also see here, there's one coming at a different angle to the rest of the stars. I would say that that is probably a plane going through the sky or possibly even a shooting star. But anyway, Marty, I'm going to have a really good look at this later on when I turn the camera off. That is just fantastic. We've got a shearing shed. Just absolutely awesome. I love my Marty calendars. I feel so privileged to have a Marty Muir calendar hanging up. Uh, sorry, I, um, a Marty Evans calendar hanging up. Marty, thank you so much for the calendar. Your calendar is not going to feature in my Fishing with Mail Time Lures segment, but it is going to feature on my fridge. Last year's been in the shed, but I didn't get to look at it often enough. So I'm going to put it inside the house this time so that I can use it a lot more and can see it every day. I love Marty's calendars. Now this sounds like lures. So this could be something that could end up in my Mail Time segment. No idea what this is. Who it's from. River to sea. River to sea surface frog. Uh, this is a... Uh, uh, folks, this is a tackle club box. I had no idea. It was, it's not in a tackle club box. Maybe Mr. Tackle Club must have run out of boxes. I'm a little bit confused here. Normally I do my Tackle Club boxes in separate videos. Well, folks, what have we got here? I'll go run through it real quickly for you. I'd say this is... I'd say this is the cod box. The, sorry, folks, I'm just a little bit... I'm, I'm a little bit thrown out here. This has been sitting on the back seat of my car for a couple of days. I... I uh, I honestly didn't know it was coming, and I still didn't know what it was because it was normally tackle club boxes come in boxes, but this one's coming a uh, this one's coming a bag. Right, so we've got a tackle club sticker, a master angler gift um, discount voucher, a little. We've got the mark. We've got the tackle club paperwork. I'll put that under here. Right, let's see what is in the tackle club box. If there's no letter in here, I'm going to assume that this is the January Murray cod box. I think that's pretty safe to assume that. We've got a river to sea elite surface lure. I have seen video footage of a meter cod caught on one of these and the footage was just unbelievable. River to sea elite frog, that looks really cool. I'm not actually fishing today, I'm out here. I've brought my daughter Collie, my, my daughter Holly kayaking. I was gonna say Collie kayaking. I brought Holly kayaking, so I, um, I thought I'd open the mail time while I was out there. I had no idea it was a tackle club. Pontoon 21 dance, Danza Tedge. That looks really cool. I'll, um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll try and hide them up close like that. I'm a big fan of Pontoon 21 lures, always have been. And I think that's a ripper. I can see myself getting caught on that. Caught on a jointed lure, I don't think I've ever done that before. I'm not a jointed diver anyway. That's the river to sea. The uh, surface frog, that might be a bit dark. It's good to see a river to sea product in the tackle club. River to sea are just great stuff. We've got a Chase Baits Lizard. I've still got one of these from last year, a yellow one. I used it later in the year. A Chase Baits Lizard. A Frill Seeker. Have a look at oh, stickers. Have a look at this one here. Chase Baits Prop Duster. Have a look at this. How cool does this look? It looks very big. This will be something for the big fish gurus. That is a chase baits prop duster, and it's got a little propeller inside. So it's a huge, big swim bait with a propeller inside it. I'm looking forward to giving that a cast. It's quite heavy. It's going to be fun to cast. I'm going to have to give that a swim at some stage. So, folks, that is the dis that is the January Murray Cod box for Tackle Club, I think. Right here, folks. Well, I'm a little bit blindsided, I have to admit. I didn't realise there was a Tackle Club box there. Every other one's come in a box. <laughs> so uh, that threw me out a little bit. A couple of things I want to tell you about the Tackle Club. You've probably already know this from other videos, but if you use my discount code Robbie10, you will get 10% off your box. If you like what you saw in that box that I just opened, you use the discount code Robbie10 at tackleclub.com.au, you'll save 10% of the cost. If you take out a subscription, it needs to be Robbie10S to get the discount. So you need to know that. A couple of other things you need to know that I didn't even know. 
quite often when I read these, I'll read down the, the breakdown of the prices of all the stuff that's inside the box. I only found out this last week when a friend of mine contacted me because he didn't have one of them. Those breakdowns are only always in the subscription boxes. If you're a subscriber and you get the box each month, you get the, the stickers and the price breakdowns and stuff. If there's any of them left after all the subscription boxes have been filled, they might go in a couple of the, uh, the once-off boxes and gift boxes. But on the whole, those breakdowns of the prices usually only go into the subscription boxes. So if you've, if you've bought a once-off box and you haven't had that uh, list in there, that's why. I didn't know that myself. And so Something else I want to tell you guys and that is the tackle club is like a lucky dip you see a friend of mine contacted me recently he was a little bit disappointed because he was hoping to get um, to, to get the Domeki air frogs that I got in last month's box they were in last month not this month you see what tackle club does they try and seek out all these uh, specials things that are on specials from all around the place and they put the discounted or the specials into the package together so that you can get them at a good price and that's why tackle club boxes give you much greater value than going out and buying lures because it depends on what's on special and wherever they can seek the specials out and get the people to support tackle club Domeki are a big supporter of tackle club chase baits are a big supporter now it's good to see river to sea in there as well and we've seen dog tooth distribution in the past with buzz jets so the tackle club is like a lucky dip it changes every single month depending what's uh, what's on special so each month things vary a little bit and they vary quite a bit it's like a lucky dip so you're not going to get the same lures every month when i spoke to the guy at tackle club about what happened to my mate he said he's had a few people say that and say that they expected to get the same thing all the time so it wasn't just my mate that didn't understand that so i just want to be clear tackle club is a lucky dip it's different every month but if you follow my tackle club boxes that i've opened up over the last few months you'll see they've always had good quality products in them and seriously look at what look at the stuff that's in there the, that big prop duster the frill seeker the pontoon 21 you can't go wrong with this sort of stuff so last month we had the little damiki brute and i went out and caught a heap of cod on it remember that's a cracker of a lure i've still got it i love it and they had the damiki air frogs it was the tackle club that day after helped me first discover the damiki air frogs so folks Thanks very much to Marty for the, the new calendar, the new 2020 calendar. That one's going straight in the fridge. Thanks to Tackle Club for the surprise. I had no idea this was coming. <laughs> and thank you to you all very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for my Fishing with Mail Time, fishing with mail time Lewis segment. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.